What is going on everybody? You are watching another episode of Tony's vlog. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today. Um, I'm actually gonna be doing like a tent setup slash review of these products that I got to the right of me. Um, I got the uh, Bella's Outback Lodge 10x10 tent, um, Bass Pro Eclipse uh, cot, and then um, a small cot pad to go with that. Um, we're gonna be setting that up, doing a little review. I'm actually gonna be going on a camping trip in a few weeks with some buddies. We're going out to Yellowstone, so I had to get some products, and uh, I'm gonna be getting some more products, probably doing some more reviews of them. So hopefully you guys like this one and the more that I have to come. So we got the tent set up and um, I got the cot, the cot pad in there and everything. I will say there are a ton of stakes that you gotta set up. Um, but I like, I love the setup of it. Um, how it's like raised up and then kind of a teepee shape. Uh, makes it real nice to put cots in there which is what me and my buddies are gonna be using when we're at Yellowstone. So that should be nice. I don't know much about tents but I will say feeling it right away definitely feel like I'll need to put something on the bottom of it and a mat or something inside the tent um, to protect from the cots and stuff so we don't like damage anything uh, with the mat but um, yeah, overall I really like it and the setup wasn't too much um, I set it up a couple times just because the guy lines I actually like tied them even though I didn't really need to um, the way that those metal I don't know what you call them, but the way that those are set up, um, you can just loop it around your stake and then it'll pull through and there's like a tension spot on it that'll keep it tight. So that's really nice. All right, so another thing that I like about this tent is the bag that it comes with. Um, pretty nice bag. I like that it's got the nice big handles. Pretty, pretty spacious for all the stuff when it's all rolled up. Um, there's got a lot of room. It's not like a super uh, packed tight thing. So the slack in there makes it nice, so it's probably not gonna rip right away. Um, then there's just a bunch of other information in there. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll head into the tent, and then I'll also do a little review on the cot that I bought, and also the cot pad. And uh, we'll take a look in there, and um, talk a little bit more about what's inside the tent as well. Okay, so right off the bat, um, this cot, um, I think it goes for about $59.99. Um, a super easy setup. Um, it just pretty much unfolded, and then there's only two pieces that I put um, at the ends right there. Um, those just popped on. It does feel a little, it's not very sturdy. Um, it doesn't have like the lever lock arm like some of the more expensive ones do. Um, the cot pad is pretty comfortable. Um, and as far as like the dimensions on this one, I think it's 77 inches and then it's only 26 inches wide but like I thought that was gonna be really small and honestly like it is kinda small but like laying down on it I mean I would say I would say that's pretty good for me um, especially uh, I don't move like at all when I sleep I would say like overall for, for 60 bucks for a cot like this is pretty good and, and this cot pad it's not really for this line, I don't think, this line of cots, but um, it fits right on there. It's just the same, like, with dimensions and stuff, so that's pretty nice, but so far I would, I would give them a thumbs up for sure, and uh, I'll probably be on more sturdy ground, too, where, like, our, where our site is. It won't be my uneven yard, but, uh, but yeah, so let's get more into what's inside the tent. Okay, so right here, there is a zipper pouch that you can, um, you got power um, at your site, um, you can run it through there, um, so it's not super messy and running through there. Um, I do like the canopy setup, 
Um, it's a huge door, which is nice. Um, and I like all of the, um, obviously you got the zipper that goes down and the ones across. Um, but I do like that. When you walk in, um, we do have like a gear, little loft here. And then there are vents up there. I did miss them when I was setting this up for the first time. And there should be another vent on the top of the door. You got three windows in here and lots of gear spots. And one, two, three, four. You got five around the tent and then obviously you got the loft piece. But as far as this tent goes, it was a $250 tent. And because I work at Cabela's, I did get a pretty good discount on it. So for paying what I paid for and this tent overall, I would say it's a really good tent. Um, can't wait to use it. I might do a part two of this review, just to like tell everybody uh, if you guys are watching this, um, how uh, my experience with it uh, for five days actually ended up. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, um, I will have that up probably in a month and a half and uh, maybe even less than that. But, uh, but yeah, so hopefully you guys like this video and um, yeah, if you guys want to see more reviews, uh, leave it down in the comment section on what you guys want to see. Um, I'll probably be doing more even before I go on this trip just because there's some, a lot of things that we got to buy and this is kind of the direction I wanted to go with my channel in the first place. So I am actually really excited to be making this video right now. So. Leave a like, subscribe, do all the things, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.